Hey everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here at a new construction home in the city of Westlake. We're right outside of Austin, Texas, right near downtown. The architect on this project is Barley and Pfeiffer Architects, and my company, Reisinger Homes, is, is uh, building it. I wanted to talk to you uh, for just a minute about hose bibs and how to protect them from freezing. Here in Texas, um, we have an occasional freeze, although it's been a beautiful summer. It's middle of July. You can see it's sunny and 60 today. But um, what happens a lot is uh, these hose bibs run to the outside of a house, like this one is, and because they can get very cold and freeze, um, they end up, we end up, when we have big freezes, a lot of houses end up having plumbing uh, issues because of, of cracked and frozen pipes. So I wanted to show you what we're doing to prevent that. This hose bib is a special one. Most hose bibs would have water coming all the way to the faucet and there'd be a ball joint in here. So when you turn this hose bib off, the water is coming to here and then stops before it comes down. This is what we call an anti-siphon, uh, pardon me, that anti-siphon's down here. This is a frost proof, frost proof hose bib, tongue twister. So what's happening is, let's see if you can see it on the video, when we uh, open the hose bib, the ball is way back here. I don't know if you can see that on the video. So the water will stop here and then this ends up draining out and this is all air in this cavity. They're a little harder to use because you need a, a wall depth of greater than, how many inches is this? Greater than probably eight or so inches. So they're real easy to use when you have masonry. Here's a masonry mo mock-up on this house. This is the rock that's gonna get installed in a couple weeks on this house. You can see the hose bib is here, but the actual end of the hose bib where it's shutting off is at least about two inches inside of the house. Now, if you have a standard house with two by fours, you know, which are this depth, and then by the time you get your siding on, these would be sticking into the house, so they're hard to use. You'd have to use them on wall intersections or somewhere else where you have some extra depth, especially assuming here in Austin, Texas, where most of our houses are slab on grade. You can see my concrete foundation is here. A lot of houses in other parts of the country have a full depth of basement, and so this area down here where we have concrete might be a framing or a floor joist area. Not as easy to do in Austin, but these are a great very simple way to prevent your pipes from freezing. They run probably uh, around thirty or forty dollars per uh, hose bib, so there's there's a little bit of an upcharge to do these, but it's well worth it to prevent your your hoses from freezing over the course of uh, who knows when it's going to freeze in the winter time in Austin. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and please specify in your new construction house frost-proof hose bibs.